You probably feel like you pay enough for your cell phone, right? Well, a local attorney is leading a nationwide fight against what he believes could drive up the cost of phones even more. Contact 5 investigator Dan Krauth with the legal fight over what's being called cell phone trafficking. Smartphones are expensive, so some people are trying to make money by selling their upgrades instead of using them. That issue is at the heart of dozens of lawsuits and a Contact 5 investigation. Non-contractual agreements. Brian Vasquez runs a business from his home. It's called Middleman Inc. Like the name suggests, he serves as a middleman between companies and their wireless providers. He has a stockpile of phones he buys and sells to people who want to avoid cell phone contracts. From order procurement, help desk support, billing, customer care issues, on-site services and sales, anything you can think about. Last year, he was surprised when Sprint, through Palm Beach County Attorney Jim Baldinger, slapped him with a lawsuit. When I first got it, I was, I was really shocked. The allegations range from leading an overseas cell phone trafficking scheme to causing a shortage of Sprint phones and sending runners to steal multiple cell phones by signing up for contracts and then not paying those accounts. We don't do none of that stuff. It's to combat a problem that is harming consumers all over the country. The lawsuit against Middleman is one of 167 lawsuits filed by Baldinger, who represents various cell phone providers. Here's why Sprint and other cell phone providers say it's a big deal. $649. That's what you'll spend if you buy an iPhone directly from Apple. If you choose Sprint or in any other provider and sign a contract, it'll cost you $199. That's a $450 discount. Carriers say they pick up the difference to give you the best technology on their network. They want to keep you as a customer. But if you sell your new discounted phone, they're out that cash. The United States is also one of the few places in the world where carriers offer these subsidies or discounts. And wireless companies believe that makes your smartphone more valuable overseas. What happens is people have found ways to buy subsidized phones in the United States and then resell them typically overseas and make tremendous profits. Baldinger says it's not only a cost that could be passed on to consumers, but it's also a safety issue. We find out time and again that these phone trafficking cases lead to all sorts of other crimes, including terrorism. The FBI busted cell phone trafficking rings in Baltimore, Detroit, and Philadelphia. The bust in Philadelphia resulted in the arrest of several members of Hezbollah. This issue is also leading to a lot of uh, street crime, a lot of violent crime. Even locally, where last December, armed gunmen robbed a T-Mobile store in Boca Raton. They handcuffed and pepper sprayed customers before taking off with a stash of new cell phones. We're thrilled that, um, that you're covering this story. This is a, a big issue that a lot of people don't know about. The issue remains, can you legally sell an upgrade even though you have a signed contract? A federal judge recently ruled it is, but the phone provider's attorney is appealing. Dan Krauth, WPTV, News Channel 5.